So first, we're going to think about multiplication that we're using to solve our problems. So this is just a simple multiplication sentence just to get you in that frame of mind. So highlighters come in sets of six, and Lucy has three sets. So how many highlighters does she have? So that should be easy, right? Mm -hmm. Three times six is 18. Yeah. Lucy has 18. Well, we're going to use something similar, same type of words, to help us understand multiplying fractions. So our next, oh, I forgot we have a nice little visual. So we've got <laughs> our sets of six, and there's three of them, so she has 18. Now we've got Matt. He has a third of one set of highlighters. So we're taking that one set of six, and he has one third of that. So what you may not know is the word of actually means multiply. Mm -hmm. And that is going to be very, very important when yes. we get here. So one third of six means one third times six. And I'll bring up our little picture. So you can see the six divided into thirds. And he has one third of that, which would be two. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to go into teaching you how to actually multiply those numbers out. So, yay. <laughs> oh, this is me already. That's you. Yes. All right, so now we're just going to look at another picture and talk about how we can look at this and compare these two. So we have George baked eight pies, and there's our nice visual. Mm -hmm. And then Molly, she only baked two pies that day. So um, one way, and this is probably the most common way that you can think about it, is... Use the oh, there you go. It worked. Sorry. Oh! Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that George baked four times as many pies as Molly. Because, as you can see here, um, Molly only baked two. Two times four equals eight. So, mm -hmm. And they're even broken up into yeah. four different groups there. So that's one way to think about it. Now, this way is similar, but it's just sort of flipped around. So another way that you can also think about it is Molly, she only baked one-fourth times as many pies as George. Because one-fourth times mm -hmm. eight. And you could see that if we two. could move Molly's two pies yeah. up, they would cover a fourth of his. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the one out of the mm -hmm. four groups that we mm -hmm. have there. Exactly. So um, one thing that we just want you to think about then, this is sort of the, the process of multiplying fractions, is that one-fourth times eight is equal to really um, your dividing, eight mm -hmm. divided by four, because mm -hmm. we have these... Um, divided into four equal shares. So mm -hmm. um, this is sort of a thinking back to fractions in unit five, how we just did eight over four, and that fraction bar is like a division sign. Yep. So eight fourths or eight divided by four equals two yep. again. And now we're going to go over how to do a couple yes. for you to copy in your journal. So we're going a little old school here. We're going to look on the whiteboard and just talk you through this. We thought this would be easier than looking at a slideshow. So sometimes you might think of we have one-fifth of 25. Um, and just like Mrs. Bush was saying earlier, this of really means like multiplying. So we can think about how really this is saying one-fifth times 25. Now... Back in Unit 5, we remembered, or we learned, how this whole number, we can make it into a fraction by just making your denominator 1. So that's our next step. Then, this is the beautiful part about multiplying fractions. All you have to do is multiply the numerator together. So 25 times 1 equals 25. And then, we just have to multiply the denominators across as well. So 5 times 1 equals 5. Then, like we were saying before, this little fraction bar just means division again. So, 25 divided by 5 equals 5. So, just sort of going back to from where we started, 1 -fifth of 25 equals 5. Okay, so now you get a chance to try one on your own, so please write this one in your notebook and um, try and solve it, and then come back to me, and I will solve it for you. Happy little dance, by the way. <laughs> okay, um, so the first step, again, just like Mrs. Van Dam did, was I need to turn this into a multiplication problem. So one-third of 24 would be the same thing as one-third times 24. So that is my first step. 
Now, after I do that, I'm looking at this and I see that I have a whole number. So I am going to turn that into a fraction. And we talked about that, Mrs. Envy. I'm just talking about that. So I'm going to turn my 24 into a fraction by just putting a 1 under it. Now, the beauty of multiplying fractions is it's so much easier than adding and subtracting mm -hmm. them. You can just go straight across. You don't have to worry about finding common denominators and all that nonsense. So if I multiply across, I have 1 times 24, which is 24, and 3 times 1, which is 3. Now, this last step, if you look at this symbol right here, if you remember, that also means this, that means this, that means this. It means division. So 24 divided by 3 is equal to 8. So one third of 24, if I took 24 and divided into thirds, it would be 8. Okay, so now that you have seen two, you get to try some all by yourself. So in your notebook, please answer the following two questions. One sixth of 12 equals and one fourth of 24 equals or one fourth times 24. So please write those down and um, solve them and be ready to talk about them tomorrow.